Alright, video response to some of the bullshit comments on this thought experiment bullshit and blah 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 and this, this whole, people are just such assholes. I mean, it's just, everyone's an asshole. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, well, whatever, let's just look at some of this assholery. Alright, so let's, let's do this, you know, get the tranquil, but let's do this asshole first. Uh, the dead have no experiences that have no experience non-existence doesn't exist okay well I don't know even what that means um, how do we measure prevent harm everyone you are not rape every time you are not raping someone you have prevented harm how do you measure it without taking intention into consideration you can't well again it has to do with obviously you can't do be productive by not being an asshole okay not being an asshole is not being productive Okay, but like you say your neighbor is going to be an asshole, and you prevent your neighbor from being an asshole. He is an asshole, and you convert him from asshole to something else. Well, that's productive. You see? Because you've actually taken something that actually is an asshole and converted it. But if you are the asshole, unmaking yourself from asshole to non-asshole is going from negative to zero. Okay? It's not productive. You can't take credit for not being an asshole. So you're just not getting the equation. The equation is preventing something that was a real threat that wasn't, and you weren't the real threat. <laughs> Stopping yourself from stabbing the five-year-old is something you're not going to get credit for because somebody has a right to ask, why were you trying to stab the five-year-old in the first place, retard? That was stupid. All right? So you have to prevent something real, not something you are creating something real in the world that you didn't create as a as part of your existence cleaning up your own vomit isn't being a good janitor you have to actually clean up somebody else's fuck nut <laughs> i haven't made a billion children so i prevent one billion harm units i am very productive so there you go again you just don't get it you can't not clean up your i mean again cleaning up your own mess you can't get credit for cleaning up your own mess, right? To be productive, you have to clean up somebody else's mess. Gee, you just understand basic janitorial mechanics. I mean, they ought to have a course on basic gener janitorial mechanics. They ought to have a course on probability. I mean, all you people are fa pro profoundly ignorant and stupid, and yet you spout this crap like you have some sort of I got you moment. No, you, all you do is waste fucking time. If there was a war, whoever side these assholes was on would be the guys who would lose. These guys are nothing but a huge liability. No matter what you believe in, people like this are just going to drag you into the toilet because they're fucking stupid assholes. They don't do anything right for the right reason and they don't do anything wrong for any good reason. They just fucking suck. Tranquil. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Stupid. I find that puppies and kittens cause a lot of suffering. I, I don't know what to do with that. I don't know if this is not relevant to anything. This getting getting better Jones guy, come on. Will you just cut me a break? I don't want to have to block you for whatever, the 15th time. Will you just grow up? You know, one or two comments per video. You want to send me 59 PMs, go ahead. But will you quit harassing everyone on the Internet? Can you come up with something else to do with your time besides harassing people? I mean, fuck. I mean, what am I supposed to say? Thank you very much for just making a, a complete mess. You come here and you just shit everywhere, and somebody's supposed to say, Oh, God, thank you so much. No, I'm not going to say that. I mean, I feel bad that you are in such fucking desperate straits that you have to do this. But come on. Try to try to just improve a little bit better every day, kind of thing. You know, set set a, set a challenge for yourself. I'll only be this big an asshole tomorrow, and then I'll try to be that big an asshole, and then that big an asshole. Yeah, come on, try a little harder. Fucker. Anyway, I mean, I'm glad he's harassing some of these assholes, but they're assholes. So assholes confusing assholes is probably a good idea. All right, I was reading something yesterday about that one can't footnote property, but 
it was in regard to a few scientists discussing matter and gravity, how they felt using the mathematics of positive and negative was dysfunctional. Oh, whatever. Yeah, right. Positive and negative is just wacky concepts. Ugh, fuck. All right, getting better stuff. Ludite, I don't know why he... Ludite's just such a wasted goddamn time. Let's see. Oh, he's talking to Getting Better Jones. Yeah, why don't you waste your time, retard? He's insane. Will you just leave the insane people alone, retard? Oh, God, I can't believe he's having a conversation with him. Why is he doing that? Well, anyway. All right. <clears throat> uh, tranquil. Here we go. I haven't watched this yet. Well, that's just incredibly obnoxious. I mean, I hate your motherfucking scuzzy guts. The last thing I want to hear is any other opinions, all right? You stay relevant to the videos. I'm just going to... I think I'm going to block you anyway. Coming from someone who can't look up dictionary definitions of words like epistemology. Epistemology. There, how's that? Epistemology is hilarious. No, no, what's hilarious is this wordification crap. This, um, you know, this, this, this over, over verbalization. Okay, <laughs> this, this. Nonsense, bibble babble talk. What the fuck does epistemology mean anyway? It doesn't mean anything. The study of studying, the factorizing of facts, the wondering of the wonderizing of the thinkerizing. I mean, it's a fucking Professor Anton word, okay? That's why I don't bother with it. It doesn't mean anything to me. I've never seen a coherent definition of it. It doesn't mean anything. It's not a word. Reality, realitizing. What is it? It doesn't mean anything. It's a crap word. Grow up. Get, fuck you. Yeah, that's even better. Fuck you. It doesn't... Like I said, go ahead, you tell me, what does the word mean? How does the word have any proper use? How can you put the word in any sentence where it actually means something except you secretly saying, I'm an elitist fuck, and I can't speak normal English. So I have to use a preposterously silly word like infinitude, or some other bullshit word that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I think that's enough of that. Fuck, anybody who thinks epistemology means something, you're an asshole. The study of studying, the study of reality <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't. You can't study reality. You can't do this. This is just not how to understand reality. That, that's, a, that's a field of study, how to understand reality. Hmm? Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Come on, grow up. All right, um, LOL. You keep talking about my philosophers and never making a damn point against them. I've done this, all right? I've been there and I've done that. I've taken their quotes. I've read uh, crap. I've heard you read crap. Like I said, your last guy, you read a whole big treatise on, oh, the terrible civilization, look what it always does. And it was just propaganda. It was like somebody saying, you know, before the Wright brothers, oh, oh, they've always failed at that trying to fly thing. We'll never fly. It's silly. Nature made birds for flying. Humans will never fly. It's just nonsense and drivel. It's like some asshole saying, because Stalin and Lenin got it wrong, no communism could ever work. No social plan could ever work. It's always going to fail. So that's all you are. You're just a naysayer, and so are your fucking pukey little fucking philosophers. All right, they're jumping to silly, idiotic conclusions, and there's no analysis in their in their commentary. They just recite the same thing. It's like me just talking about 15 capitalists and saying that's the entire capitalist system. Okay, I'll just use the 15 worst capitalists of history to make my argument, and that would be a lie, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be what's called propaganda, fucking cunt. So that's all your fucking authors are worth. They're just propagandists, superficially thinking propagandists. They don't understand economic theory. They don't understand what civilization is doing as it's migrating through history. They have no clue whatso fucking ever. They're fucking idiots. And they're goddamn lazy idiots, elitist idiots, and fucking goddamn useless fuckwits who think somehow the solution is, is to run away. 
They're little chicken shits who will fight for nothing. You suck, they suck. Uh, damn point against them, except that they suck and they're dead. Well, that, I mean, the dead thing is kind of important, because guess what? I think if they were alive, they'd, they'd say to you, you really suck, Tranquil. I mean, I mean, we're kind of nihilist, escapist assholes, but we're not nearly a pu as big a pussy as you. Will you just quit fucking whining, you little useless sack of shit? You have no idea, no plan, no nothing. All you want to do is say, I give up. Let's wait for the lightning to decide. You're a fucking useless piece of shit. They would say it. That's why I wish they weren't dead. Just so they could, they could sit there and stick their tongue out at you and say, You suck, Tranquil. Because that's what they would say. Even, even as stupid as they are, they would certainly recognize that you aren't f useful for anything. Alright. The day Gar... No, why are you putting my name in here? Why? Is there some reason you've used my real name? There's no reason to do that. The fact that my real name is public, the fact that people can find it if they go look for it, doesn't give you any right to put my name in here. You want to give me your full name, please? You, are you going to be honest to, to do that? Come on, go ahead. Give me your full name so I can put it in my comment section so other people can... And every time I reference you, I'll throw your name in there. How would that be? It's just such a bullshit move. You have no need to do this. The day, you could just say, the day in mendum means anything on Wikipedia. I make videos as in mendum, or do not God. I don't, my, my videos aren't signed with this name. So who the, who are you, you fucking cunt? Fuck, I'm blocking you for that one for sure. Fuck you, this is just bullshit. Pull that shit elsewhere. Block, yes, he's blocked finally. Fuck him. That's just a bullshit move. Alright, I'll read this and I'll delete this comment. What the fuck? Yeah, just make it easier for the crazies to find me. No reason to do that whatsoever. I don't have my real name on my channel page. I don't have my real name anywhere. The people have to go look for it. They have to go do Google searches to find it. And you're just giving it out for free. Fuck you for that. Why? Because the Magic Sandwich Show is too stupid to respect me? You, you can disrespect me? Fuck. I mean, damn, you really just suck. Uh, means anything on Wikipedia, and you appear in the list of well-known AN figures there, uh, maybe, just maybe, you'll have some credibility. Well, like I said, I don't need your credibility. I don't want your credibility. What I have is arguments, you little weasel. That's what you don't have. What I have is an imagination and a creative brain, which you don't have. Okay, you're just a fucking goddamn... Uh, 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 do lip service to your dead philosophers, and that's all you have. You have nothing else. You have not one creative thought of your own ever in your existence. All right. If you want to have a, you want to sell shares to uh, who's got more potential to have their name in Wikipedia a hundred years from now. Um, I don't mind. Let's sell the shares, and, we'll, and, and, and and anybody who buys shares in you is going to lose their money and be paying people who buy shares in me. Because you're 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 going to be on the ash heap of who the fuck gave a shit. All right, just maybe you'll have some credibility and make the claims you make about real philosophers. Yeah, whatever. Oh, like 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 again. This is the argument from you're not popular. Yeah, guess what? All your your fucking fame, your philosophers weren't too fucking goddamn swell either in their lifetime. That's why fucking Schopenhauer had to live off mommy's money. For now, you look ridiculous. No, you are the sack of shit who is afraid to show yourself. Make a video, shithead. Show your face, make videos, okay, so I can mock you properly, and then we'll see who looks ridiculous. Who will make every... I will, I will destroy every fucking sentence of every paragraph of every argument you ever make. Because every single one of them is built on an idiotic notion that we're defeated. That there is no conversation to be had. Here you are arguing to have no conversation, to do nothing, to sit on your lousy, stinking, scuzzy little putrid ass and do nothing. I mean, fuck you. You are the worst kind of human. The most disgusting human on earth is one of you. You are the definition of the scuzziest piece of shit on this planet. Because you have you do nothing for any good reason whatsoever. You're paralyzed by your 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 fucked and evil pussiness. 
Okay, the video you're responding to has nothing to do with them or my philosophy. It's just a thought experiment. The video you are responding to has nothing to do with them or my philosophy. So I don't even know what that means. Um, I mean, clearly you're making a video against antinatalism, apparently. Um, <laughs> you know, because you, you, you basically made the argument here. Let's create a, an evil person who breaks the social contract but prevents, in two different ways, people from dying horribly. But we'll get to that. All right. Uh, just a thought experiment. Right. Whatever. A thought experiment that was pretty much a pro-life thought experiment just because of the way you phrased it. Like I said, nobody, nobody with traditional values would, be, would understand anything in that thought experiment. Okay? None of it. All right? And so you just played on emotions. That's all you did. You just made a kitten puppy story and just denied the truth and just said, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going gonna, gonna to fuck people up because of their emotional reaction to the characters in the story because I'm just going to make them all cute and fluffy. So you just played a game with the truth, distorted it, just like your propagandist philosophers. Your philosophers were propagandists. They weren't thinkers. And you're a propagandist, not a thinker. All right, <clears throat> let's see. Until 10, yes, well, I don't know what that means. Um, that's fine. If you want to create the scenarios of people who will have lived pretty painful lives but didn't, thanks to him. I'm basically trying to make the doctor as productive as possible just so we understand that no matter what, the trade-off still can't be accepted. Well, I know. I'm just saying, this is the idiotic part of your whole thought experiment. Somehow you're celebrating the fact that you're conceding the doctor is productive. That overall, in net effect, his effect has been to create a world that has less harm in it. And you're saying that I'm crazy for thinking the world with less harm in it is better than the world with more harm in it. Because somehow you think we got that at some cost. You haven't explained the cost. Like, you, know, you, you have to explain the cost of, of gaining a value, gaining an advantage. You can't say it is a better world, less people suffer, and then say somehow, but there was more suffering. That's why it was no good. Because there was some other suffering that we're not counting. You're saying the right decision is to, is to have the world that's worse off, and you're calling that somehow the win. How is it right or winning to create the world that's worse off? If I kill the doctor, the babies are born, right? So I'm responsible. If I kill him, it's the same thing as having the babies. You didn't tell me how many abortions he's performed, so I don't know how many lives I'm creating. But let's say it's one for one. He kills a five-year-old and a, 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 a fetus goes ter full term. So I'm responsible for essentially giving birth to, by killing, by eliminating him, I will uh, essentially give birth to, create, cause the creation of a human being starting at zero. And he wipes out somebody, let's say, fi at five years old in a way that is completely unbeknownst to anybody. There's no suffering involved, no notice involved whatsoever. They just disappear, almost like a fetus disappearing, like an abortion. So essentially it's a trade-off between an abortion and an abortion. And the only difference is, is one of them is going to have to live the extra five years, right? <laughs> so in a sense, I'm saying, well, it's, I, I mean, how do you even trade that, okay? It's, 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 he's killing something that's five years old, and we're creating something that will live the extra five years, the whole life. No, no, the other thing, the other thing, the other fetus that's going to be born is going to live a whole life. So, yeah, so what I've got is the difference between a 70, 70 years, let's say, of hard life, of regular life with all kinds of suffering and death uh, is the only thing left over, right? That's the only remainder. So if I'm an antinatalist, of course, I don't think that's a great thing. I don't see any value in that. I don't see any productivity in that. But again, I mean, you're just not getting it. I mean, if I stop him, I'm responsible for everything he was stopping. You just, you don't, you can't figure that out? Oh, so fucking stupid. Um, 
So anyway, let's go to, I think I finished this one, right? Productive as possible. Yeah, so you're again, you're conceding he's productive, and then you're making some kind of superiority statement like, see, see how preposterous your value system is? You're voting for the world that's better off. And that's so crazy. Yeah, it's just totally crazy to vote for the world that's better off. Wow, what a crazy thing to do. And you're pretending as if there's some difference between taking a five-year-old out harmlessly and an abortion. And the difference is what? An emotional difference. That's all, right? Just an emotional one. Nothing rational. So in the name of an irrational, emotional distinction that has nothing to do with anything else but cuteness, I'm supposed to applaud your values? Your values say the kitty's better than the pig. My values say, no, let's give them a, a sensitivity test. <laughs> you know, no, I'm not going to sit there and, and, and make that obnoxious statement. I'm not a bigot like you. You're just defending bigotry, you cunt. You're a fucking bigot. All right, I'm 40. I wrote the text in the video because I need to play your clips. Just, well, I don't know what that means. Just more complete this way. Well, I'm just saying, there's no need. You can, if you want to keep the text in the video, I don't care. I'm just saying there's no re that, that That text, those two paragraphs could fit in the goddamn description. You can have like 1,500 characters in the description or more. But anyway, it's just more complete this way. It probably wouldn't have had enough space in the description for all the text either. Well, that's just bullshit. There wasn't that much text, retard. And if you left off that whole ending part where you just break your own thought experiment, that would have been fine. I try to make it last... I try to make it last the right time for people to read without having to pause. Well, again, it's just don't you understand how it's a waste of people's time for you to tell them how fast they're supposed to read? I mean, really, I'm just saying, text videoing is retarded. I mean, write it in a blog somewhere. Write it anywhere on the Internet and point a link to it. But this fucking text video shit is just fucking idiotic. It's just not convenient for you since you pause the text to respond to it. Well, I'm just saying, you know what, text in videos is for, like, banners, for statements like, pow, wham, bam, you know, like in Batman. It's for emphasis text. But you don't write a fucking book in video. Idiot. That's why they have blogs, asshole. I'm sure anti-bullshit man would let you write some of your inane nonsense on his blog. All right. Um, costless pleasure, not costless procedure. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to... Uh, costless pleasure, I'm sure, is two com words that are combined all the time. Sorry for the mistake. It absolutely means nothing. As I read it, it meant nothing. So it makes no distinction. I mean, no one's going to understand the distinction between costless pleasure and not costless procedure. I mean, whether it's a costless procedure or a costless pleasure, it doesn't mean anything. I've already told you. I don't value pleasure, you retard. Okay, so I don't see any need for that to even enter this equation. I'm looking for the harm, not the gain. All right, it's just a note. I'm saying even if she was conscious for a bit during the rape before being painlessly killed. Well, again, so now that changes. Don't you see how that changes entirely the scenario? If we're trading one for one, okay, an abortion for um, a, a, a silently killed kid, um, yeah, I mean a painlessly killed kid, well, then you can say that it's an even trade. But now if you're going to make the kid knowledgeable of being raped and being and with fear and murder and all that kind of stuff, you're creating, uh, you know, really horrible value moments here. So, I mean, obviously it seems that that breaks the equation a bit unless there's a lot of abortions being performed and a lot of lives being prevented and harm being prevented to justify torturing a child. Um, that experience, that harm, would be less than the harm the doctor would have prevented later on until he does the same to another orphan girl. Well, again, you're saying so. I'm supposed to have your values now? I don't have your values. Um, I don't know how much, like I said, again, there's just no point in having these thought experiments unless you're going to give some character to these lives. Do you believe that people are better off living a nice long life 
um, with lots of cancer surgeries, dying really slow of Alzheimer's, 10 years in the nursing home. Do you think that's a good life or don't you? Do you think the average life is a good life or a bad life? Would you want to live the average life? So, I mean, if you don't preface this statement by saying you're agreeing that living the average life would fucking suck, that I wouldn't like to be the average Indonesian, I wouldn't want to be the average Indian, I wouldn't want to be the average Chinaman, I wouldn't want to be the average North Korean, unless you're going to, paraphr- unless you're going to establish the fact that what you're trading here and un- an understanding of the values, this thought experiment, again, is just an emotional mind field. It feeds on emotion, it preys on emotion, it's nothing but a propaganda statement. Statement, a manipulation. You might as well be painting horns on goddamn Jews by making an argument like this. It's a piece of propaganda. You haven't demonstrated how it's the, the how I'm obligated, how I'm obligated to choose to make the world worse. Okay, to do the right thing. You haven't demonstrated how I'm obligated to choose to make the world worse. Okay, to do the right thing. Basically, I wasn't changing the thought experiment. Well, you see, I'm sorry. That's changing the thought experiment. Feeling pain, not feeling pain, are pretty dramatically different things, fucked hard, when you're doing a thought experiment about the value of suffering. <sighs> Fuck. But I was <laughs> mentioning an alternate, an alternative that involves some harm, but that still isn't enough. Well, you say it's not enough. I, I mean, this is amazing. So, you know, really, you should be five-year-old, wake up, realize you're being raped and murdered, and just see if it's not enough for you. <sighs> it shouldn't be that confusing. Well, I'm sorry, I don't know. I mean, on, on levels of things, I don't know what is worse. Being silently, somebody sneaks up behind me, blows my head off with a, a fucking laser atomic deorganizer, just vaporizes it. My brain is vaporized in a millisecond, or waking up, as a five-year-old being raped by some disgusting, putrid, disgusting person who I realize is going to kill me. Yeah, I think I figure out what I would choose, you retard. So it seems like it's a pretty substantial thing. Uh, Yes, it's about emotionalism, but more to the fact it's about justice. So that's his word, justice. So the just thing to do is to create the bigger, the worst outcome. So... If we create a scenario, let's say there's a serial killer, all right? And serial killers, all of them get the death penalty when they're convicted, okay? Every single one of them, and we call that justice. So that's the justice standard. You don't negotiate with serial killers, right? But I know this one serial killer, and I'm going to make a deal with him because I can save two kids, Okay, because he's got him buried in a trap somewhere. And even though we're not supposed to negotiate with him, and justice always means the death penalty, he's making a deal with me. And he's telling me, I'll, I'll give you these two. I'll, let him, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the power to, to, to liberate them. And the deal is you can't kill me. Okay? And that you have to give me a nice life. Okay? I mean, I want a nice cell, all this kind of shit. So I make the deal. Now, Justice would say he deserves to be punished, he deserves to be executed like all the other serial killers, but I made the deal. Now, did I do the wrong thing? Because I made the deal? So by your justice system, your unyielding notions of justice, uh, I, I committed a crime. I've done the wrong thing by saving those two kids. You would choose to kill the two little kids in the, in the trap. You see where this goes nowhere? The word justice means nothing. There's no fucking such thing as justice, you retard. Justice requires an undo button. There's no undo button. We can't undo what evil does. We can't even compensate for it in most cases. There's no way you compensate for the rape and murder of a 13-year-old. What the fuck could you possibly do to compensate for that except prevent it? the exact same crime. There's nothing you could do to compensate for it. And there's no justice here. Okay, there isn't. There's no such thing as justice. It can't happen. All right, all we can do is try to be as fair as possible, to create a game that's as fair as possible in the distribution of burden. But the bottom line is, is that it's still a chessboard. 
we still identify a checkerboard, let's say. And we're all just checkers. And the fact of the matter is, if you've got a deal where you save two checkers from harm, and only one of them has to be harmed, will you take the deal? Unless you're an arrogant, elitist, motherfucking cunt who thinks he's better than the rest of the checkers, like you, scumbag. Uh, okay. The man is guilty of taking the life that wasn't his to take, and you will permit him to keep doing so because of your value system. So again, look at how he propagandized here. He now has taken away the the individual's um, uh, the fact that he's he's prevented harm from happening to however number of people it is. So instead of saying as before, he's infinitely productive. He has prevented more harm guaranteed than he has produced. So even though he has committed horrible crimes, he has in other respects prevented even more harm. So that was his premise of his thought experiment. Now he's taken away that premise that he has prevented more harm, and he's turned him into just a criminal. He's only a criminal now, so he's just a serial killer. He's no longer anything else. He's just a serial killer now. And he's saying, it's my justice system that would say the serial killer is great. No. You made the serial killer a person who can cure cancer. You made the serial killer capable of saving the two kids by giving me the information and making the deal. You made the serial killer different than just the serial killer, you stupid cunt. And now you're just lying. You're just making a propaganda statement to say, see, his justice system would let serial killers serial kill. No, I'd rather people didn't kill anything. I'd rather they did things didn't have to do that. Okay, so you find a better way. You find a more economical way. Why should I ever justify any waste? <laughs> it's just stupid. This is the justice nihilist part that you have to account for. I don't have to just I don't have to account for anything. I've already accounted for it. I'm always going to vote for the outcome that has less suffering in it. Duh. I'll just say that again. I'm always going to vote for the outcome that has less suffering in it. I'm always going to vote for the outcome that has less suffering in it. Fewer cancers, fewer headaches, fewer whatever the thing is. Yeah, I'm voting for that world. Um, so, Tranquil, cut off the arm to save the body, kill the doctor. I don't even know what that means. I won't even try to figure out what it means. That's what I'll do, because that'll just hurt. We know that'll just hurt if I try to figure out what that means. Yes, that's all. I thought there was some other just complete jackass statements here somewhere. Argument from authority. Yeah, well, he's good at that. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is a good one. You know, this is kind of a snarky comment. So, according to the net equation, if I drop a nuclear bomb and kill one million people, that is okay if 900K die, die instantly and 100K, 10% die agonizing deaths. That is okay since, okay, yeah, okay, there should have been a space, since the good outweighs the bad. Um, well, again, you're just trading bad for bad here, right? So you're saying that, okay, you've prevented 900,000 people from naturally dying a slow, horrible, agonizing death. So that's on one side. And then the other side is 100,000 people are going to die nasty, horrible deaths. Right? So on the death end, that's what you're trading. You've got 900,000 bad deaths for 100,000 deaths. So obviously it seems like, okay, yeah, you're winning, okay, <laughs> just in terms of death. So now you have to talk about the value of the life, right, before you die. And so that's where we're going to have this argument that I don't know, goodwill hunting guy. No, that's not you. Uh, anarchy guy. Oh, dear. That's a, I should have saw that and just said, fuck that shit. Um you know, now we have to decide what the value of the lives are, right? So the point is, is if you're an anti-natalist, if you think life is fundamentally doomed, that most lives are crap or worse, and only a very few lives are exceptionally useful, productive, and enjoyable, that most of them are mundane, meteoric, um, destructive, consumptive, we kill more animals, we harm things all the time, we 
fuck up other people's lives, all this guy. It's very difficult to live a good life. So, yeah, I, I mean, by that a math, I can't vote against it. But part of the thing is here is that this event isn't going to cure the problem, right? If you take out one million people, right, we know that because of the way reproduction works and resources work, that these people, the, you know, the more Stone Age you make people, the more of a mess you make in the world, the more they breed, right? I mean, birth rates in Afghanistan and Iraq and Iran couldn't be higher. They're as high as they've ever been, essentially, traditionally. So, yeah, fuck up countries and they'll have even more people. So, by that scenario, this doesn't solve the problem. But if you, if you put the hook on here that you were going to, you know, wipe out an entire island of a million people this way, well, you could argue that it would be hugely beneficial if you were actually preventing a lot of future existences. I mean, clearly you're preventing a million people from breeding, which is excellent, <laughs> you know. So, but what do you want me to say? You, you, you do you have some other way to account for existences here? Do, are you going to deny that people dying a natural death isn't a horrible experience? That there's something like dying of cancer in John Hopkins Hospital over a two-year period is somehow much more cooler than dying over a five-week period of typhus in a concentration camp? I mean, you know, if I had to choose, it's going to be a pretty tough choice, right? Now, for me, it's not even going to be that tough. The shorter the death, the better. So I'm saying, yeah, go ahead, Nazi, shoot me in the head. But I'm just saying, if I had to pick one, I'm not automatically going to say I'm better off in the hands of the ghoulish mad scientist in John Hopkins than I am in the hands of the crazy Nazi. The point is I'm going to be one hurting motherfucker. I'm not going to be having a good time. So, I don't know what to say. Like I said, I mean, this stuff needs to be picked at because there's a huge amount of presumption in our values. Again, this whole saving a life notion is a just kind of a bizarre notion that saving a life just means you're creating something to be responsible for. It's, it's the saving a life is creating a life. And neither one of those events extends past the death. So you are imposing death. When you impose life, you impose death. When you save a life, you impose a death. It's just the way it works. You, you make death show up another day. So you, you can't prevent the death you think you're preventing. The death will show up. So you're not stopping death, you're just prolonging life. And that doesn't necessarily mean you're giving anybody anything good. Because life's a pain in the ass. A lot of the time. Alright, this video went way longer than I thought I was hoping. But anyway, just hate on Tranquil. Tranquil is evil. He is the... the... the worst kind of nightmare for any kind of thinking person is these lazy thinking, lazy living, uh, passionateless, nutless, crazy motherfuckers. He is just as bad a piece of blight as there is. He is the shit on the fence. And that shit will give you a disease you don't want. Yeah. Mm.